Carlos Alcaraz could become the new world number one after the U.S. Open. Carlos Alcaraz has responded to the prospect of becoming the new world number one for the first time after the U.S. Open. The 19-year-old was one of five men who could end the tournament as the top-ranked player and the race has been narrowed down to just three, with Rafael Nadal's upset loss to Francis Tiafo giving Alcaraz the chance to become the youngest number one in ATP history. Alcaraz has a chance to make history at the U.S. Open, as he could become the first teenager to win a major since Nadal in 2005 and the youngest ATP world number one ever, smashing Leighton Hewitt's former record as the Aussie was 20 when he ascended to the top in November 2001. Along with Nadal, Daniil Medvedev, Kasper Ruud and Stefanos Tsitsipas, the current world number four came to Flushing Meadows with the chance of reaching the top of the rankings after the tournament. With the two Spaniards and Rude now the last remaining players who have a shot at world number one. And Alcaraz's chances are better than ever following Nadal's fourth round exit as he is now the highest seed left in the draw and will no longer face a potential semi-final clash with his compatriot. The five-time title winner has now addressed the prospect of becoming the new top man in tennis and admitted that he is trying not to think about it. The truth is that I don't think about it. He said after his late-night marathon win over Marin Cilic. Well, let's say I try not to think about it. Alcaraz will become world number one by reaching his maiden Grand Slam final, but will need to win the title if he comes up against Ruud in the championship match. And with the ranking now just two to three wins away, the 19-year-old said it was still a long way away as he will first take on Janik Sinner in the quarterfinal. I am still a long way off. I have to win two or three matches and with an opponent as difficult as Sinner in front of me, I only think about that, he continued. Alcaraz and Sinner have already started building something of a strong rivalry on the court while enjoying a good relationship off it. The pair are level at 2-2 two two in matches across all levels but the Italian leads their head-to-head -head by two wins to one loss at official tour level so the third seed will have a tough match on his hands.